I don't know if y'all remember in the previous video, I said we were going to get our fence done. Then we're working on getting the deck extended. Then we're going to finish the basement. But I figured y'all like to see how I get packages in and out of the basement. I have to go all the way up this hill. It's a little workout. Yo, what's up? My name is Rich and I'm tired. Yo, yo, what's up? My name is Rich and welcome back to another vlog of, I guess, selling t-shirts. Getting a little tired of talking about t-shirts in the vlog. We do the same thing in every vlog, so maybe I need to switch it up every once in a while. Headed to the post office, check it out. We got about four boxes full poly bag t-shirts. I have no idea how many that is. I do know that there's music on and I hope I don't get hit with one of those copyright claims but um, I do know um, that I went through two packs two 100 packs of poly bags within those four boxes so it's at least got to be somewhere between like 200 t-shirts or something like that but and then we're headed to Alpha Broder we got a good 10 11 12 boxes to pick up this time so more than uh, you've seen in any previous video so that's pretty cool i suppose q4 and selling t-shirts y'all so y'all better prepare yourself because inventory has been a little crazy with alpha bro san Mar it's not even the distributors it's pretty much the manufacturers of the t-shirts themselves bella canvas they have restocking dates of like december and that might be too late so um print on demand people if you are doing print on demand you might run into a little bit of an issue so you might want to prepare yourself you might want to throw a disclaimer on your listings and state that the t-shirts may be replaced with different um, t-shirts because a lot of these t-shirts are out. Getting a little crazy pulling into the post office. Okay, I'm back. I hope y'all can hear me. Um, I forgot what I was speaking of last, but for those of y'all who are doing print on demand or possibly have been doing print on demand for a long time and just happen to still be watching me, I recommend you take control right now for Q4, um, at least for your like most popular prints. Whatever your popular prints are, you better get it bulk printed, uh, ship it out yourself, order yourself some poly bags, and prepare yourself because it's gonna get ugly, I'm telling you. Um, I'm picking up like 10, 11 boxes right now, but it's not even, uh, I'm not even stocking inventory right now. Um, it's just, man, I have, I think I have like over 1,700 orders open right now. Um, so I need to get that done this week. That's one other thing I wanted to say. So as far as these vlogs, I think it's starting to get a little repetitive. I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to the post office. I'm picking up t-shirts. Um, I don't know what else to throw in here. Maybe we can switch it up a little bit. I can take y'all to some car meets where I uh, talk to other like entrepreneurs, you know, discuss the things that they do and the stuff that made them successful. Maybe you might be interested in that. Like I've said, you know, you gotta hang out with people who were successful, man. Um, you gotta hang out with other people who, have, who are like-minded. It, it doesn't even matter if they're in the same field as you. You know, if they're successful, if they're chasing something, if they just want more in life, then you gotta surround yourself by positivity. There's that one quote that just pretty much says it all. It's, uh, say if like you hang out a group of bums, there's four bums, you're the fifth one. Um, <laughs> well, you're not a bum yet. Let's say you're just a, a typical person, you hang out with four bums, guess who ends up being the next bum? You know, and if you hang out with like four successful people, let's say four millionaires, and you wanted to be a millionaire, guess who's most likely to be the fifth millionaire? So you gotta surround yourself by positivity. Surround yourself by the right people. So maybe we can switch it up in the next vlog. Just let me know if you're interested in that. Maybe I can try to swing that video for the next one. All right, so we just picked up a load. Obviously, you know what brand we picked up. Bella Canvas is pretty, man. Their stock is limited right now. Um, You know, I've made a mistake too. I had a second order. But I accidentally did it Flex Express, so it'll be at my local FedEx tomorrow. But I also have a FedEx Flex Express order that I need to pick up today. I don't know how many boxes that is, but I do have room right here in this seat. So 
Um, we could pick that up as well. I gotta get all these printed and shipped out. And now this is how I get shirts back down. Oh. <laughs> the second time after we got those boxes from Alpha Brother, these are all poly bags. Boom, 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 boom. There's some more in here. Can't see it. There's definitely some in here. Uh, my cousin went to go get another load. You worried about what? I'm recording you? No. <laughs> another day of present shirts. Um, I guess as much as you can see. It's one, two, three boxes. There's another box down there. You can't really see it right over here. I can't point on this. Where's the camera at? Down here somewhere. <laughs> that dolly's back there. And then I have this uh, box up here. My cousin Alan's gonna stay here and press some more shirts. And that's just how we do. Oh, I'm breathing hard today, y'all. Another day, another load. Two bags, two boxes. Box in the passenger. Whew. Missing my cousin Allen today. Where you at, man? I need you. I actually skipped a whole bunch of loads, um, like recording wise. But this is clockwork, man. It's 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 a real grind. I just want y'all to understand. It, it's a lot of work. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, like doing heavy numbers and all that, it looks gravy on paper when y'all see like all those numbers and the profit and all that, but let me tell y'all something. It takes some real work. Yo, what's up? Um, I'm just gonna insert this video somewhere within the vlog. I don't know where, but I moved around again, as y'all can see. I used to be in this small room right here, as you can see with the backdrop. Um, still had the vinyl over there. Now it's almost like a little workout room for the time being. But I moved everything into the larger room. Got a lot more space to work with now. We uh, decluttered a lot. Got rid of a whole bunch of junk. Um, so at first, the size of this room right here was pretty much that bookshelf to the table. And then that was it. But you can get a lot done with a tiny space because you don't have to move around as much. But I've been working with two other people, one including my wife. Um, she's been helping me out a lot. So now I'm still trying to make it a tiny space. That way it's easy to work with. So we have like a little walkway right here. And then you have more table space. Table space is always awesome. And as you can see, I still have the wallet press. I haven't done the giveaway yet. I'm going to make a few more videos with it because it's a great starter press, especially for the price. Um, right here we have some t-shirts. Right where I'm standing, I'm going to get like two more... Um, racks so i can start stocking inventory because um because of covid a lot of shirts has been out of stock so i guess it's the time to stock up i got this from uh richie over at brands and empires y'all need to check him out also his website is lasertransfersupplies.com um it's where i get all my uninet uh supplies so you have the shipping label and then a design and a t-shirt then that pretty much means it goes with this shirt and so forth so you have another shipping label that design it's already made so um, it's ready to go. Let me explain it to you with just some no designs. So you have a shipping label and you have the t-shirt design. So you stack that up for whoever's working for you. And then you do the same thing. Whatever design goes with this t-shirt, the shipping label that goes with t that t-shirt and so forth. That way it's an easy way to organize for whoever's pressing shirts for you for that day. And all they have to do is just polybag it, put the shipping label on it, and it's good to go. So all you have to do is do the A to B Mary process first, or have somebody do all of that. And then you just organize it. Um, one thing about that is you do need to know the weights of t-shirts. Over time, um, when scaling t-shirts so many times, you start to know how many ounces are particular t-shirts, such as size uh, large is usually six ounces, extra large, seven ounces. So if you're adding an extra large with a size large into a package, then that's 13 ounces. Um, so that's something you'll start to just know in your head over time. I can't wait to get walls up. I really can't. That way I can get some cool designs up, put some Hustle Ninja stuff up maybe. Um, we actually got another TV down here. That was actually in the garage. I actually used to use that TV for uh, 
wedding video events. I don't know if I told y'all, but I used to do wedding videos back in the day. So for like events and whatnot, where you're showcasing your videos, it's actually like on a rolling stand. So um, you could take that to events and whatnot to showcase your videos. And now I'm very happy to have this table dedicated to just t-shirts itself. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to do some backdrops once again until we finish up some other things with the house and then we'll get the basement finished. Another thing I got from Richie over at Brands and Empires is notating that some of the designs will be printed on different types of t-shirts as like a little disclaimer. Um, that has helped out a lot because there's hundreds of t-shirts that I had to switch to a different brand because Bella Canvas is out. And I'm going to stock up some inventory uh, for the rest of this Q4 because... Who knows what's going to happen near Christmas. And right now is the time to stock up because these distributors, warehouses, manufacturers, um, the T-shirts that's out there, it's not, it's not the same as any other year. Uh, a lot of it is scarce. Um, might want to stock up this season. So we do got a few boxes over here, but we need some more. And uh, if this is the end of the video, then this is the end of the video. I didn't close it out because I don't know where this video is going. But peace. All right, so listen. Um, I haven't gave like an update on like numbers in a long time. But look, check this out. This today. Etsy made six grand today. And then let's click on yesterday. Yo, I hope y'all appreciate this content. And the reason why I've even been able to push some out consistent like i'm falling asleep right now to be honest yeah it's 5 30. i've been waking up at 4 a.m usually i'm a night owl so mornings are rough for me but i've been waking up at 4 a.m uh either recording or editing a video and then taking my kids to school and daycare and then going about my regular t-shirt business day around lunchtime try to finish editing um and then back to work pick up my kids from school daycare um then it's family time then if i need to wrap something up at night i'll try to be in bed by midnight so i can get like four hours of sleep at the least so I haven't really been sleeping much, which is fine, but I'm used to staying up late and then waking up still early, but not as early. I'm used to going to sleep around like two or three and waking up around seven. I think I was like sleeping while I was talking to you. <laughs> I mean, if y'all want things in life, man, y'all really got to work for it. Let's go.